What's up guys, BTBS here, welcome back to another episode of Bob Has a Butchers. Now, straight out of the gate, some of you are going to be looking at this and thinking, what the fuck Bob, this is not an indie game. But you know what, this is a severely underrated game, and I have had more fun with this game than almost any, pretty much any AAA title in the past three years. So this is Dark Void. I like to call it a testicle ramping jetpack flying bucket of fun. But that's just me and I'm a bit of a fucking weirdo. So uh, basically I want to jump in somewhere, somewhere where I can show off the game. Um, hmm. I have literally no idea which what these missions are. Like, ah. It's a little bit slow to control. I'm actually using my Xbox controller. Ha ha ha! So, you may hear some uh, clicky clickies. Let's have a look. What, what mission should we go for? Prophesized one. That sounds like a good mission. Let's just jump straight in on the easiest difficulty. I just want to really show you this game. So, I picked this game up when it came out on uh, Xbox 360. I think it also came out for, like, uh, PS2. 3, PS2, fuck I wouldn't be surprised if it came out for the Nintendo Game Gear. But um, this game, like, it, I have never really uh, just seen anyone playing it or even heard anyone talking about it without me prompting it first. And uh, when this game came up on Steam, I was like, fuck yes I want this game. So uh, every mission starts out in your locker where you can swap and upgrade guns. There's six guns to go for. You have your standard Liberator, which is just a machine gun. You have the Oppressor, which is the alien machine gun. You have the Magnetizer, which sends out a giant bubble of anti-gravity magnets and stuff like that. It uh, helps you get to secret areas out or just lifts enemies into the air and then drops them to the ground. The Disintegrator. Oh, it's actually got things... Experimental gra gra Gravity Nullifier. It's got flavor text underneath. You have the Disintegrator, which is sort of like your rocket launcher slash RPG, sends a big energy bolt. The Hypercoil is sort of like an electric gun, it just fires bolts of electricity and awesomeness. And then the Sniper, which is basically just a sniper. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this out for the Magnet, the Magnetar, just to have some fun. And this is our jetpack. And we also have a pair of 7.62mm guns which we then upgraded to 45 calibers and we have miniature rockets on the jetpack. Oh, this game. Oh, when I first got this game I uh, I played through it I think two or three times in the, the day I bought it. So, they must have seen there you the go. Fire. It's got fairly decent graphics. Wait, this place it's a couple years boy. old. Straight away we've got the Activate the jetpack jet for a high jump, land somewhere high, take the high ground. Uh, I need to remember all the buttons. Okay, that's grenade, that's zoom. Uh, ah, here we go, the magnetizer. This thing just looks cool. I'll cover you from above. Oh no, my boost doesn't go any higher. What? Whatever will I do? Well, here's the thing I love about this game the most. In the middle of any mission, you can just uh, double tap your flight button, which I've totally forgotten what it is. No? There we go. And you can start jetpacking. So, out of absolutely anywhere, you can just pull out your jetpack and absolutely beast it around. And, you know, if you want to get really fancy, you can do some nice little maneuvers. Do an Arlington roll. Just, uh... Come back. Stay close. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm actually, this mission actually involves protecting somebody, but I'm Come more back. caring about Stay just close. flying around on my jetpack. So while you're in your jetpack, you have the slow down and the speed up, which is just mapped to primary uh, button pad buttons. And basically what we're supposed to be doing is trotting along and killing a few random enemies. But, you know, even if you don't want to use the jetpack properly, you can just use it to get yourself to higher ground. Uh, the game is, uh, it's shooting is a basic third person cover based, so you take cover, you pop out to shoot at enemies, you know, you can blind fire, 
And uh, certain guns are very good for blind firing, or you can get up really, really close to enemies, which is what I like to do. Get up really, really close to them, and then just batter them with your weapons. Bang. There is another thing I want to mention. This game has some brilliant music. It's uh, very rare that I just listen to the music in a game. Ah, yes. So here we are, just jetpacking around the level. Totally not supposed to be. They're, the game's just like, oh, you don't want to be jetpacking, but I'm like, no, I really fucking do. We have this badass music going on in the background, and oh, I just there's there's not really much I can say about this game without it sounding like I'm trying to give it a tongue bath. So I'm just gonna let the game speak for itself. This is the magnetizer in action right here. Lift him up, suspends him for an easy shot, drops him down. Oh look, he dropped to his death. Poor him. So this was the best thing about the game, in my opinion, is. You, if you were doing this in a normal third person shooter, take any third person shooter from the past three years. Let's go Gears of War. What would you do? You throw a grenade? Yeah? Oh, it's too far away. You take a few lucky shots, hope to get lucky? That's not gonna work. What do you do in this game? You point the other direction and you jetpack. Do yourself a nice spinny spinny and you launch off a miniature magnetic rockets and 45 caliber machine gun fire. Oh, yes. Oh, it feels so good to be playing this again. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, stay together my ass. Eat my rockets. Oh, yes. And uh, the jetpack has a lot of function in the game, but it also uh, opens up new areas, like up here. There is... Um, the first time you go through at least, there is a special item in here which gives you um, extra current, extra in-game currency that you spend on upgrading weapons and stuff like that. So yeah, um, if you've never played Dark Void before, um, buy it. Uh, it's probably a maximum of about a tenner on Steam. So that's, you know, ten pounds, maybe fifteen dollars or so, I'm not sure what the conversion rate is. Oh, look at that, just floating there. I can float too. Oh, you fell. Oh, poor you. Oh no. Oh no, are you okay? Oh no, let's make sure he's fine. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> so our, uh, our standard rifle here actually has um, a very extended clip and also shoots explosive rounds. Oh, that's our guy. Yeah. Blow people up. <laughs> Blow them up. Blow them all up. Oh yes. So yeah, if you are going to play this game, there'll be there'll be a moment near the start which um, isn't even worth mentioning because you're going to play the game and you're going to see the moment for yourself. But when you first get the jetpack and you just have this unbridled joy of flight constantly and all you want to do is fly around, the game gives you this incredibly awesome objective which is to fly into a small structure, land in there, so you have to basically fly up into the structure, you have to then cut off your jetpack and land before smearing yourself across the walls like jam, and then once you're in the structure, you have to smash up a computer and then jump out and uh, jetpack to safety before everything explodes around you and you die. And it is such a turning point. It's something which turned the game from, you know, this isn't a pretty cool game that I could play to this game is awesome and I would play it regularly. I play this game as regularly as I play other games, like uh, some other games from my my favourite games ever list. So I'm sorry if the sounds are a little bit off here, I didn't have long to uh, work on my levels. So yeah, the level design is um, generally pretty well thought out in terms of... Uh, oh, I wonder if I pick up one of their guns. No wonder I'm sucking so much. The level design is pretty well thought out in terms of, um, like, if you want to be a boring old bastard and go through the game without using the jetpack, 
for most of it, you can. I mean, I don't know why you would. It's absolute sacrilege to even suggest it. <laughs> But it is possible to do, and, you know, if, like me, instead of killing all these motherfuckers boringly, you just want to take off into the sky... Oh, look, he died. <laughs> well, unlucky for him. Oh, man. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump into uh, a different mission, maybe. I have no clue. I'm just so, like, I just so enjoy playing this game. It's got such, like, so many aspects of the game are just completely mediocre. But then when you add in the ability to just strafing run an entire level with 45 caliber machine guns, miniature rockets, on a fucking jetpack, all relatively easy to control and available to you at almost any point throughout the game. As soon as you do the mission to get it, you basically have control constantly. It, it's just, you know, it's one good idea can really make a game soar. Actually, it reminds me quite a lot of the old, um, I like 2010, 2011, I think it was, Alone in the Dark game, where so much of the game was just pretty poor. But then they had the fire, which was fucking amazingly done. It's like, I reckon half of the programming on the disc for that game was just the fire stuff. <laughs> So yeah, you've got your general, um, anyway, you've got your general uh, third-person shooter stuff. You know what? This guy. I think a rocket to the face will sort him out. Oh, look at that! It did. It sorted him out. And now I'm going to use my jetpack like they use their jetpack. <laughs> oh, you're exploding! Murder! Oh no, I'm getting killed. Get away! Now I'll come back around. Yeah, die. Yeah, who's getting murdered now? Come back. Stay calm. Oh yes. Woohoo! Oh, I am a little roller coaster. Oh yes, why would you stay on the ground when you can do this? There's something I'd really like to show you which just is going to involve me running out of my boost power here. So during flight, you, um, you have these together. several maneuvers you can do, like the quick back, uh, the quick 180 degree turn, and then you've got the, uh, the rolls to avoid hitting stuff or just dodge enemies. But one of my favourites is actually unintended to be useful, but it's just, as far as I'm concerned, hilarious. And that, my friends, is going to be very hard to pull off if I can't actually do this. So, oh, that's a wall. Let's go over here. I'm just trying to use up all my boost because uh, if you try and do a special move when you have no boost left, you get a very funny result. Watch this. Uh, this one. <laughs> oh my god, could you imagine how much you'd shit yourself if that happened? You're trying to fly through the air on a prototype jetpack, which only you have, which is stolen and made from alien technology. It's, you know, it's just covered in guns. Oh, and missiles. And then suddenly, you know, you just uh, absolutely lose control of your jetpack. There would be spirals of shit flying through the air. Uh, so I'm just going to enjoy myself for a little bit here. Oh god, 
Ow, oh, fuck. Oh, I nailed that landing. It's also nice just to have um, the hyper jump sometimes as well, you know. Are we being, still being attacked? We are. Oh, these feeble underlings. Nothing, nothing matters to me. When you can, nothing matters when you can fly away from it. Oh, look at that. Cut him into his constituent parts. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Fuck you guys. Fuck you, fuck this, fuck all of that. Oh, yes. So I'd actually, I'd like to show you something else um, from this game, which I have never seen in any other um, shooter before. And basically, I'm just going to jump into an earlier episode here. Uh, let's go to the village crash site spare parts. Spare parts, I believe, is the mission I'm looking for here. Uh, since Bob has a butcher's is supposed to be showing off all the good stuff in the game, I uh, well, all the stuff that makes the game so unique. Uh, I've showed you plenty of the jetpack, and believe me, you can spend hours just flying around and um, just like seeing where you can fit and stuff like that. It's like, oh, there's a small hole over there which looks like it wouldn't even be rendered into the map. I wonder if that counts. And most of the time, it does. So I just want to show you a few other things in this game. Hello. So this is just some boring story stuff, so I'm going to skip it. Ah, doo -doo 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 -doo. Now one bad thing this game has, which is pretty bad, is um, lots of quick time events. So um, there's missions where you and a few planes, like biplanes, are doing these ridiculous jet fights, these in-air jet fights against, like, dog fights is what I meant, against, Good. like, 20 or 30, um, alien sources, and, oh, there's just some really good stuff, but to hack this, like, to, to just steal, to hijack the sources is just a, um, a quick time event, but even their quick time events are different. So, um, yeah, this is relatively early in the game. You basically only have the jetpack as a, uh, a double jump and a hover. And uh, it allows you to do this. There is um, these semi -le these ledge climbing sequences, I guess is the best way of calling them, because that's what you do. And uh, you climb the ledges using your jetpack as a jump. Nothing amazing there. What is absolutely brilliant is what I'm going to get to hopefully in just a minute. Don't you remember? Uh, I like pissing around in the air and just moving around as well. <laughs> so let's go over to this side and get up. And the game also gives you the opportunity to do this back down as well. So if I really want to, I can jump all the way back down. Oh, I did not actually mean to jump back down, but whatever. I suppose I said I'll jump back down, so I did. Uh, let's land here and go back up. Yeah, uh, up there. There we go. There we go. So the game's got um, relatively good hitboxes for both character, environment, and uh, enemies. Considering, you know, I know it's not even that old, but it feels old, if you know what I mean. Because I remember playing this game, like, literally years ago. It, it feels like a lot longer than it has actually been. Oh, oh no, I'm falling, falling. You feel that? I'm not falling, it's cool. Yeah, another I'm good. So this is another way of showing off the uh, relatively nice graphics this game has. Especially since it wasn't designed I to have company. good graphics. Copy that. Oh, I've got enemies. Yeah. Suck my giant exploding gun. Oh man, that thing's powerful. It's hard to care about any of you when I can, you know, kill you in a single shot. So here we have some rather lavish open environments. Uh, instant, well, not instant, but guaranteed death pits and sitch. Let's get up here. There's a little bit more combat in this mission than I remember. I just really wanted to show you the game feature. Oh, you are so dead, my friend. You are so dead that you didn't even hear me say that because you're dead. 
Oh yeah, let's just run through here. Oh yeah. Oh, was that a group of them above my position? Oh yeah. So this is one of the things I absolutely love. This is supposed to be a ledge climbing segment, but as what as what happens with the game multiple times, there are enemies here, and the gravity and everything in the game is shifted 90 degrees. If I say throw a grenade upwards, it will actually fall back down. If I just throw it straight up, you'll see it goes there, and then it falls back down and explodes below me. This gives some very interesting uh, chances for stuff like cooking the grenade just long enough and then blowing them in the face with it. That is a personal favourite, I must say. Let's go back down here and then let's get underneath. Uh, balls. <laughs> I went the wrong way. <laughs> Fuck. Oh no. Oh no, indeed, my friend. Right, get back up on here. Right, here we go. I'd like to show you a melee kill one here. Where are you going, eh? You gonna come down? Yeah? Yeah? You gonna come down? You gonna come down and say hello? Oh, oh, what's that? Yeah, that's a machine gun shooting up. So, let's jump on here and then quickly mash B. Oh, my friend, you are so dead. <laughs> and then you just hear his body falling all the way to the bottom. So that is something this game does, um... Not frequently enough, but still quite often. It gives you these huge A18 vertical areas we might be able to use. where you can I'll fight on the way up and the way down. There's places where you can fight on the way down and enemies will abuse the whole grenade thing. They'll throw grenades up at you and it'll land on your platform. <laughs> or, you know, you can throw a grenade downwards really easily because you have the higher ground and you can totally take the enemies out with it. So what we were talking about earlier, when you walked <sighs> out... That so, yeah, ago. that is pretty much, uh, pretty much Can this game. Me? It is jetpack <laughs> flying, so alien murdering, sort of you get some really ball. nice, uh, you get the, what's the best way to, I call them penis enlargement guns, because they're the sort of guns that when you fire them it makes you feel like you have the world's biggest cock. Uh, any girls watching you won't get that, I'm not exactly sure what the female equivalent of that reference would be. I'm sure there is one, I just don't know it. Oh! Oh! Oh, you're getting shot, son! Oh, you're getting all kinds of shot! And the whole fighting up and down on the cliffs has um, it's got some stuff to it. It's like, I have the sun quite in my eyes right now, so I have to decide, do I want to blind fire and be safe? Do I want to pop out and be more accurate, get a few shots off? Or, you know, I could even just drop down to the floor and fight them from down there with long shots and stuff like that. Uh, you know, maybe if I was planning on doing that, get the sniper out and try that. Oh, yes. Oh, I love the sound when they fall past you to their death. It's just like, I made that happen. I am killing all the aliens up in this bitch. Ah, all the way up to the top. Oh, look at that. There must be something coming up because they reward me with a full ammo pickup. Very nice of them. <laughs> so, of course, yeah, there's segments in the games where you do the same sort of thing, but on the downstroke. So, you know, you know, get a grenade down there. Oh, I bounce off the wall. Shit. And then, of course, if you get really bored, just ah, drop down and smash their fucking faces in. <laughs> So yeah, if this hasn't sold you on Dark Void, I really don't know what can. I tried to be as unbiased as possible, but I do just absolutely love this game. It's like asking me to review Final Fantasy VII, you know? You're never going to get a completely professional, unbiased what review. What? Because I just love this Something game so much. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, if anyone's interested in picking up this game, uh, the link to Steam will be in the description. Or, um, you know, if you've got yourself like uh, a PS2 or an Xbox 360, you can pick this game up probably for like almost no money at all. Like, this game cost me, I think, maybe £15, £10 brand new. Oh, yes. And I will say, when you. This, this game has a few problems, but if you're willing to overlook the problems and just spend time having fun with the jetpack, enjoying the unique things it gives. 
you know, because there is so much unique stuff in this game. And even the music, the music in this game, I think is fantastic. Oh, God, almost splattered myself across the floor. Oh, oh, suck my human cock. Ah. Oh, this gun. Ooh. I mean, look at the recoil on that thing. That would knock a fucking... That would look, knock most people straight on their ass. And I mean, even here, like there are parts in the game later on when you have the jetpack at full capacity and you have small, tight, enclosed places. Those are the places where it's most fun to switch the jetpack on. Those are the places where if you switch That's the, the jetpack on, you will just smear okay. yourself across Great. the wall. Oh, going Seems into freefall. Oh, yeah. This is one of those times you do a little Space Harrier-esque <laughs> minigame all the way down. Oh, and then just look at the view as you hover over towards life and happiness and just away from that ridiculously huge cliff that somehow has its own asshole. <laughs> So thanks for thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Like I say, all the links will be on um, in the description. And uh, as with all of my other Bob Hazard Butchers, if you are interested in possibly seeing more of this or seeing an entire series, or just something particular in the game that you want to see, or just you know, even maybe even just hear me talk about it again, who knows? Uh, leave a comment in the comments section, amazingly. That is actually where the comments go. Fuck me, who knew? Leave a comment and uh, we shall see. If enough people want to see it, I may do a full Let's Play of this game. I'm sure I could can, uh, like, I could hold myself back from just, you know, just going, Oh, I love this game so much. But yeah, this is just something that I thought needed to be seen. It is one of my favourite games of all time. I've barely seen anybody play it. I've almost never had anybody just say like, oh yeah, I've played Dark Void. And, you know, it's on Steam. It's worth the money. I will personally guarantee it's worth the money. So I'm, I'm going to hang up now. Uh, hang up. I'm going to stop recording now. Because I'm, I'm just smiling so much from the jetpack. This game is just so much fun. So, thanks for watching, guys. I love you all. Peace out.